back. Here's Vanessa Paz. Right, here's a live look right now outside. Really pretty, but don't let it fool you. It is starting off pretty chilly out there. So grab a jacket before you head outside. We're seeing a range of 30s, 40s, and 50s scattered from the coast all the way towards the desert communities. The big story is going to be those Santa Ana conditions that we are going to uh, have not only today, but for tomorrow as well to wrap up the second half of the week. Right now, we're starting to see them ratchet up to 45, 40 miles per hour for some areas that include Otay Mountain. I saw the uh, Howell Canyon clock in 40 mile per hour gusts earlier this morning, and those numbers are only going to increase as we get through the day. By the one o'clock hour, you can see those pink purplish colors stretching all the way towards the coastal areas, meaning that we could have isolated gusts even for the coastal spots anywhere from 40 to 45 miles per hour. Those humidity levels are also going to plummet down not only to the teens, but to the single digits. You mix those high winds with those low humidity levels and the warm temperatures, you are just looking at a recipe for fire danger. So over the next couple of days, the fire danger threat is going to be between that moderate to high level. Today is the time to use that extreme caution. Make sure that you're checking, checking your tires for tread and loose parts. So our European model, this is activity aloft. The tighter these lines, the tighter the pressure gradient, the greater the difference between these two systems. And that's the reason why those winds become so strong. Those winds eventually make it to the surface and that's what causes those Santa Ana winds. So we're looking at high pressure over the southwest where those mountains are. The winds travel down slope and when they travel down slope, they accelerate. They also speed up and they dry out and heat the surrounding air, which gives us that Santa Ana wind recipe that leads to fire danger. And sometimes they speed up fast enough to cause damage like downed power poles or damage to buildings. That's excessive, but that's what can happen when those winds gain speed, sometimes up to 60, 70 miles per hour. Coastal areas will be in the low 70s. As I mentioned, those high winds are going to expand all the way towards the coastline today and tomorrow. So all of our micro Climates are going to get a taste of these dry and windy conditions. The inland and mountain areas, though, those are the microclimates that we're most concerned for. High fire danger in those pockets. So refrain from starting any fires, backyard fires especially. Mid 70s on tap all the way through the weekend. I don't have a lot of change. However, we do have some cooling, calmer conditions the closer we get to the weekend. It's today and tomorrow that we're most concerned about. Mountain areas, low 50s. We are looking at the potential for some patchy frost when it comes to to those evening hours when lows drop down into the 30s near the foothill and mountain areas. Desert highs will be in the low 70s, 60s tomorrow, and then we'll push into the 70s and 80s this weekend.